morning everyone, Wyatt and Rika here. We are currently exploring southern Spain and today we're going to Ronda. Let's go. All right, it's 8, 12 a.m., bright and early. The sun still hasn't risen and we're gonna go to Ronda for the day because we've heard that it's gorgeous. There's barely any cars in the streets because it's so early. All right, we're here in downtown Ronda. We have four and a half hours in this city before we take the bus back. Let's go explore. Just like the rest of Spain, Ronda seems to like their meat. The city of Ronda is 750 meters above mean sea level and has a population of 35,000 people which is a little bit bigger than our current home city of Ubrique. Ronda on an October morning is quite chilly, so I recommend the jacket, but it's getting warmer with the sun. This place is so pretty, oh my word. Puente Viejo, which is the oldest of three bridges in Ronda and spans a 120 meter deep gorge. It was built in the 16th century. Yeah, I think this is right. The view is crazy beautiful. Now off to our next destination. Fun fact, Ernest Hemingway actually spent a lot of summers here in Ronda, leading to cafes being named after him. <laughs> Now we are at Puente Nuevo, which is the newest of the three bridges in Ronda, and it was built 200 years ago and took 34 years to build. It is truly beautiful. Now we're standing on top of it, and down there is the Tahoe Gorge. We are way too high up right now. I'm like getting jittery as I get close to the edge. Oh, it's so high up. Here we are at the bull ring of the Royal Cavalry of Ronda, and we've been told that it's a stop that we have to visit. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias.
standing in the exact center of the bull ring. It's 66 meters in diameter. There's about 5,000 seats total in the ring. But we're gonna fact check that and count. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> And right next to the bull ring, we found the Alameda del Tajo, which is just this beautiful park. This place is gorgeous. There's so many fountains, trees, and amazing views. We made it to the Banos Atabes, or the Arabic Baths, which have been here since the 13th century. All right, so we made it inside the site of the Arabic baths. And before coming here, neither of us really knew like what an Arabic bath was, but we've learned that they were places mainly to meet, hang out and chat for the Arabic people after they had invaded this area. The ones we're at here in Ronda are actually the most intact in all of Spain and Portugal. Okay, we're gonna nerd out a second and explain what the baths are and how they work. The Arabic baths are actually a Muslim adaptation of the Roman baths, and they have three different rooms. The heater, the different temperature rooms, and the reception room. Okay, we are literally standing in the Arabic baths as we speak. And unlike Roman baths, where you actually submerge yourself in the water, Arabic baths are more steam room-like. So they would heat up a room with wood fire, throw a bucket of water from the nearby stream on the scalding hot floor, produce a bunch of steam, and then you have a steam room. I'm currently standing next to the water wheel, which is the thing that pulled the water from the river into an aqueduct that led to the baths. And fun fact, the water wheel was actually powered by a donkey. Now we're gonna go find some food. at La Casa Puerta, which is the house store. Café con leche is so good. <laughs> so for the first course, we have a rice and meat salad and a crab salad. Then what is it? Mini hamburger. All right, we got some veggie croquetas. Croquetas are like little balls of cheese. Hola, aquí. Propina, propina. Gracias a ti. Off to the bus station. Here we go. All 
All right, we made it to the bus. And this is where we're gonna end the video. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned as we try to make it to 50 countries. Bye guys. Peace out. And here we found the main stropping ship. And here we found the main strip. And here we found the main shopping strip. What's this? Whoa, that is a rocket ship. Oof, and my hair. So I might have accidentally led us to some public bathrooms, thinking that they were the Moorish bath. <laughs> <laughs> it said public bath. <laughs> And they're made out of this stone, so you can easily fall. We haven't yet, but we've had some very close calls. Dang, did I just rhyme that? What up, I'm tall. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but this walk is sure slow, it feels like a crawl. This backpack is officially my baby, and I'm naming it Back. <laughs>